Okay, welcome back to my channel. Like and subscribe or don't. But uh, on this channel, I'm showing you how a little bit of investing can build wealth over time. Um, we are on the road to 2000 there. So let's see what activity we've had. Oh, we got 13 cents from the bond market. And that's all we've got this month. Poor. Not going to have any money for hookers. Spit in my mouth after this low paying month. I'm going to do uh, total dividends for the year. And I'm going to start doing total dividends each month. But let's look at what's going on. Our intrinsic, intrinsic value. Stocks are up. And I just used intrinsic value to pick these stocks. That's all that is. Bank of America is up 22% since I started buying. Started this on September 14th. And Intel's up 6%. And Bank of New York is up 17%. <clears throat> Dutch Oven is up 21%. Eh, it's just a little another take on a boglehead, and I have to clean this thing up because I really don't like it. I have to, but I bought a house, so I've been busy. I'm gonna get to it. Don't get mad at me, my nobody that watches these videos. Mr. Hands, lazy to fund. It's just a Vanguard total stock market and the Vanguard total bond market. up 15 percent we're gonna get a crash well maybe not with all the liquidity the fed pumped into the system it's all running into assets the bangkok bareback vanguard total stock market vanguard small cap vanguard mid cap Right, that's the extended duration ETF and the total bond market. It's up 17%. Dave Ramsey's approach, it's up 33%. And I would honestly, if you're a new person to investing, it's going to be uh, Vanguard total stock market, Vanguard total world market. Vanguard mid cap and Vanguard small cap. You might even want to throw a REIT in there, even though Ramsey doesn't recommend you do that. I only did that because, you know, I just wanted to see what Dave's Ram Dave Ramsey's approach would yield over time. I'm probably going to change these all to 25% too, just to see what happens. The Uniballer, this is just the total stock market. Oh, actually it's not. This is a total stock market, total bond market, and I think that's the extended duration. Total international market. So we have that in there. My actual portfolio, which I have to go through and change, because it is changed is up 11.6%. Some stuff isn't in there anymore. And I changed some stuff around. We have, <clears throat> I forgot to point this out. We've gained $177.33. And my first cream pie, this thing's up 71.44%, mainly driven by Tesla, that's up 322%. And Square's up some ridiculous amount. Square's up 309%. Everything in here's up.
total stock market. Easy way for somebody to just invest. Side touch, 35%. And it's another little take on the Boglehead approach. My Hobo's left boot, that's up 31.49%. And it's just a little bit different take on another one. Bucket of hooker spit, it's up 24%. And just bought some random ETFs just to see how it would turn out. Bad boys down 21% on the year. Move this. That thing's funky. It's the high dividend. It's down that much. I might want to buy this. I think this is SPHD. They changed this up. Acting weird. Yeah. And it can capital. I just keep that in here to remind people that Hedge funds suck. 2045 moderate. This is just a moderate. It's returned 16.95%. Random one night stands. This is just uh, stocks that I randomly picked with a random number generator and it's still up 20%. And beer and hooker money. And this is just high dividend uh, paying ETFs that I bought just to simulate an income portfolio. I really didn't put a lot of work in it, but it's still interesting that it's up 18.21%. So it's actually paid more in dividends than its market gain. So that is my M1 finance portfolio. So let's look at it. We got to thousand there in about 11 months from the end of November till about the end of October of this year. It took us to get to a thousand dollars. I'm thinking that we'll do it in nine months with uh, on the way to 2000 because of the effect of, it's not really compounding interest like people like to say it is, but compounding dividends, but it acts like compounding interest. So we'll just call it that. But yeah, I'm guessing <clears throat> I can get to 2000 in my 1200 now. I'm guessing September of 2021, we will be a 2000 there. So if you watched, thanks for watching. If not, you missed out, like and subscribe or watch somebody else's content. So thanks for watching.